Hungarian style beef rolls. These are so good. Essentially, it's minute steaks, beef minute steaks. I'm going to stuff it with some sausage mince and then cook it in Hungarian style sauce, which has loads of paprika. So I'm using a sirloin here, and what I've done is cut them really thin. So one sirloin, cut them into thin minute steaks. Minute steak essentially means they're about one to two centimetres thick, and we want to get it even thinner because this is like the blanket for the mince. So just grab yourself some Glad Bake, two pieces, one, two, and this is the easiest way to bash it out so it's nice and thin. So we'll place our steak in the middle. You can also buy minute steaks ready to go, but if you do, I still recommend just pounding it slightly so it tenderises the meat. So we'll place the other piece of Glad Bake on top, and then with a meat mallet, just going to pound it so it's thinner. And the motion you're trying to do here is spreading away. So just like that. If you do that, we'll get a bigger surface area with the piece of meat. And turn it over. There you go. So it's much thinner, so it's going to be easier to roll and it's going to be super tender as it cooks. Right, that's all done. And here are a few extra pieces of beef. In this bowl, I've got some sausage mince. You could also just use any mince you like. You could use pork or veal mince. I'm going to add some extra flavourings to this, just some parsley. That's all. You don't need any salt because the sausage mince is already salty enough and some of them already come with some flavours in it. So we just want the freshness of some parsley. I'm just going to reserve half of this for a garnish later on and then the rest of it we're going to scrunch up and then roughly chop it. So we just need about one to two sprigs of parsley. Run your knife through it a few times. And then in it goes. Okay, just using the spoon, we're just going to mix all of that together. Great. All right, time to wrap these little parcels. Working with one steak at a time, we're going to add a spoonful of our mixture just into the center and then spread it on one half of the minute steak. Then we're just going to roll it up into a little bundle. You don't want to overfill it. This meat is going to expand and firm up as it cooks. So you want it just to be nice and tidy like that. Now you could place two toothpicks uh, to fasten this or I think it's even better to use a little bit of butcher's twine. It just ensures everything stays in nice and tidily as it cooks. So just wrap it around and then tie it together. It doesn't have to be perfect because once it's cooked, I'm going to remove this twine. There we go, that's our first little one done. So cute. So I'm gonna make a few more of these and then we're gonna seal them off in some oil and butter. And just before you start frying, be sure to lightly dust each of these rolls in some flour. All right, we're getting some good colour on these little beef rolls. It smells so good by frying them in that butter. So the next thing we're going to add is some French shallots and some garlic. I'm just going to roughly cut these into half moons. Okay, we'll pop that in. You don't have to worry about taking the meat out. This is just going to go in and around our little beef rolls. Along with two cloves of garlic, I'm going to bruise them and then just roughly chop that too. Okay. Just give that garlic and French shallots a bit of a jiggle just to coat them in that butter. And I'll deglaze with some white wine. You want to allow this to reduce by one third before you add your beef stock. Now I'm going to make up my beef stock. You'll need 500 mils of water to one beef stock cube. Now this has no MSG, no artificial colours or flavouring and it's already seasoned with salt. So I haven't added any salt to anything here. This is where all the flavour is going to come from. So I'm just using my hands just to crumble it up in the water and then I'll just use a little fork to give it a quick mix to allow it to dissolve. So 
looking good. We'll pour that in. And it looks like quite a lot of liquid for these little rolls, but it will reduce. And you do want that liquid so they stay super tender as they cook. A few more things, our paprika. We'll just sprinkle that in. And I love the addition of some thyme. Pop that in. That's it, lid goes on. I'm going to turn that down to a medium to low heat and that's going to cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. All right, let's have a look at these beef rolls. Mm, smells so good with that white wine and the paprika. So let's plate up. I need to take one of these out. We want to remove that string. It's done its job and these little rolls will hold their shape. So just use some scissors. And there are a few ways of serving this. You could serve it with some pasta, would be lovely, with some steamed greens, or the traditional way, which is lashings of mashed potato. So I'm just going to place a spoonful on a plate with some sautéed cabbage in butter. We'll place that to one side. A little roll. I'm just going to cut it on an angle, just straight down the centre, because I want you to see the roll inside. You can see that sausage stuffing in the centre. Place that on top and that sauce is just the absolute best. So be generous with it. A nice generous spoonful over the top. Ooh, yum. And a little more sauce because I love sauce and we'll just create a little moat around that meat. Fantastic. And some pickles. Just to cut through the richness, I've just got some dill pickles and we'll just grab a knife and thinly slice them on an angle. We'll just place that on top. And it does need a pop of colour, so I've just got some extra parsley and we'll just garnish that with the parsley. Very old school, traditional way of preparing beef, but I love it with that sausage filling, that rich Hungarian style sauce with the paprika. That one is an absolute winter favourite.